Hi there, welcome back to our Repricer demo playlist. In our previous videos, we've touched upon how important our min, max, and rules are in repricing. In this video, we're going to show you how you can apply these to your products. We understand that every business's requirements will be different. Your products may require very specific min, maxes, or rules, or you may be able to use a very broad brush. In this video, we'll cover methods suitable for both sets of requirements. Let's start with that broad brush. With Repricer, we offer an auto-assign min-max rule feature. Let's pull it up now. Go to Settings, Channels, then choose a channel. You'll find the auto-assign min-max rule setting. You may well recognize this control as you would have used it as part of your initial setup. Here you can automatically set a min-max range as well as a repricing rule that will automatically apply to any new products that are imported into Repricer. This setting has the definite advantage that it gets things repricing right away whenever they import. However, it does mean that you lose some of that control. So this is the broad brush approach. Next, let's look at using our product screen to apply our min-maxes. Let's go back to our dashboard. In order to make it very easy to see which products are not yet repricing because they haven't yet been configured, we have our unconfigured products option. Simply click on the number and this will pull back the list of products on your product screen. Now with the products pulled back, if you've only a few, you can simply set the min, max and rule right here on the main table. Once you've set the min, max price, they'll start to reprice right away. If you'd like to do this in bulk, you can also do this on the product screen. Simply select all products. This will have selected all products on this page. If you have multiple pages, you can use this option to select every product returned, even ones not displayed on this page. Then go to the Bulk Edit option and choose the Assign Repricer or Assign Prices options. These options allow you to assign a rule or min-max prices to all the products you've selected. Now, what if you want to be more specific but also have hundreds of thousands of products? This is where imports come in. Choose Imports on the left-hand side of your screen. From here, click the Download Amazon Template option. Go to the eBay tab and the same button will exist there for you to download your eBay products. What this option does is generate a report of your products and downloads it to your computer. You can then open it, make the changes to the products you want and import it back into Repricer. I won't show this process specifically, though we do have other videos which take you through it in detail and I would encourage you to have a look at those. There are details in the description. If you'd really like to take this to the next level, we also offer automated import processes via API and FTP. We will touch upon those in a little more detail in the last video in this playlist. And that's all for this video. Let's move on to the next chapter where we discuss your products in Repricer in a bit more detail. See you there.